Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Zerta. We know each other before. Dear students, welcome back. I'm really happy to meet you again and to teach you another course in grammar. Actually, you took grammar one with me, and now we will, we will complete what we started before. This course is a complementary course. You will take advanced ideas or advanced items in grammar. I'm really happy that you all passed your previous exams are in grammar one. And I hope also to enjoy and to pass your exam in this course and you learn, you learn the grammar, it's not only to get marks, but to know how to deal with language. In this course, inshallah, we'll study some topics. And first of all, we'll focus on sentence structure. You know the simple sentence. Everyone knows the simple sentence, and we discuss it a lot. And now we will fix ideas related to compound sentences, complex sentence, and compound complex sentences. After that, we'll take the modal verbs. The modal verbs, you know, the modal like will, shall, should, may, might, must, and others. Then we will take direct and indirect speech. Further, the course, in this course, you will learn how to use the present participle, which is the verb plus ing, and the past participle, which is the third part of the verb, like write, wrote, written. Written is the past participle. And break, broke, broken. Broken is the past participle. And they, they have some grammatical uses that we will take them in this course. Also, preposition is a focus of this course. You have to know that we learn in grammar not to memorize rules, but to use it meaningfully. So please. Let's help each other. Let me help you, and you help yourself, and you help each other to use grammar meaningfully. To use it, because if you don't know the meaning, what to know a certain structure, you cannot write well, and you cannot understand what you read or what you listen to. So please, you have to know always, you have to ask yourself, why do we use this structure in this situation? Why do you use a structure in a certain situation? When I say to someone, if you pass the exam, I will buy you a bicycle. Why do we use this form? And what do we mean? What do we mean when we say, if you pass the exam, you I will buy you a bicycle. It means I promise you. So when you promise someone or to do something for someone in the future related to a certain condition, you have to use the present form with if or conditional if and the will and infinitive without to. So this is the form. So we want, uh, we want also to, to know the form and to know the meaning. Why do we use it? Because I want to promise someone to do something. And I want that one to make an effort. I want him to make an effort to get high marks in the exam. And I promise him to uh, buy him a bicycle, OK? But if I say another example, for that, I say if I wear a beard, I would fly all over the world. This is something imagination. Here I use conditional if with the past tense. Why? Because it's something unreal. I cannot be a bird. This is what we mean by you have to use grammatical forms meaningfully. It's not 
a matter of memorizing the rule. If plus past participle and in the other side would plus infinitive without to, it is not grammar. This is just, you know, the form and you don't know how to use them in reading, in writing, in listening. So you are wasting your time. So you have to focus in this course and in other course of grammar on getting the meaning and get me using the structures meaningfully in certain situation or to explain, to explain certain ideas. Thank you. Now, the procedures. What will you, what will we do in this course? We will conduct discussion of every grammatical point you are supposed to learn in the current semester. You know, <clears throat> sorry. Um, you know that what, what happened in the previous semester that we discussed point, grammatical points and we used them in exercises and we did um, short uh, quizzes and we, you did a lot of homework and we repeated some points that you did not understand. We will do that in the same way, this course. Here I want to focus and you, will, you have to do some exercises, which is very important here, which is very important here. Uh, here, the exercises will practice, you will practice two types of exercises. The first type, we together run discussion of exercises uh, in the PowerPoint slide I provide on your computers. Okay, we will discuss every point. We will understand the meaning of every point. We, um, you will ask yourself, why do we use this form and how do we use it? And what's the intention of using it? Or what's the purpose of using it? Then at home, you will have another type of exercises which is self-learning you are big enough now you have to to practice self-learning i'll provide links for certain exercises you go to the internet according to the link uh, uh, i give and you answer the questions or you solve the problem in the exercises and you provide your work on or you drop your work on the discussion page in the electronic in the electronic learning page okay always always this course always you have to to ask yourself the question why this question is very necessary why i am using this form how what's the reason of using this form, okay? So inshallah, you will enjoy this semester and you will enjoy grammar and you will use it in your life, in your language, you will be excellent. I hope so with all my love. Thank you very much.